With the world's climate now rapidly changing, sea level rise is an important environmental indicator to keep your eye on. Especially if you live in a coastal city like Samarang on the north coast of Java. Here, large sections of the city are sinking because of land subsidence, sea level rise, and changing weather patterns related to climate change. Samarang's seaport has been hit particularly hard. At high tide, ships now float to the top of the docks, and trucks stand in water to make their deliveries. It's in this port where a young scientist has been tracking tidal data in an attempt to learn something about the connection between a rising sea and Samarang's sinking condition. My name is Anindya Virasatria. I'm staff of uh, Oceanography Study Program at Boyunagoro University, Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science. For his research, Anand needs to know two things, the rate at which the seaport is sinking and the rate at which the level of the sea is rising. By measuring the subsidence of this location, we could know the value of subsidence in this area. This is benchmark of the tide station, so by measuring the elevation of this leveling point, uh, I, measure, I measure this uh, elevation and I get the subsistence rates in this area is about 5.165 cm per year. In addition to the subsidence rate of the tidal station, an hour-by-hour -hour sea level record has been measured for the past 20 years using a standing well connected to the seaport. Analyzing the elevation and tidal data, Annan discovered that on average, the seaport was subsiding about 5.165 centimeters per year, while total sea level rise was about 5.43 centimeters per year. Annan speculates that the small but important difference, 2.65 millimeters per year, is probably related to climate change. 2.65 millimeters per year is probably because of the global warming. Because uh, if we see the satellite data, the satellite altimetry data, satellite that measure the sea level rise, the value is similar with me. It's about 2.4 uh, millimeter per year. So uh, I think it's proof that the value of 2.65 millimeter per year is because of the global warming sea level rise. In 10 years, the sea would have risen almost 10 meters on this coastline. Most of this rise may be caused by human intervention, but climate change is adding to the problem. If action is not taken to mitigate against the rising tide, Annan and his colleagues predict that in 100 years, 35% of the city of Samarang will be covered by water. Tracking sea level rise is important for policymakers in Samarang as it provides hard data of just how threatening this environmental change is, allowing them to issue a strong call for action from the central government. This tidal data experiment also sets a good example for other Asian coastal zones impacted by sea level rise, which have not yet begun to collect reliable scientific information to support and influence decision-making.